Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Justin with CI Sense. Today I have got 12 fragrances that are bright and fresh and refreshing. I should say bright or fresh, refreshing. These are summer scents. Each of them is a clone of a niche fragrance. So all of these are going to be great deals financially, and every single one of them has a fragrance profile that I have just been loving this summer. It's been hot, and each one of these will work in the heat, you know, depending on your preferences. So as we get ready to dive in, I want to ask you to please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done that yet. I've got videos coming out every two or three days, and I'd love it if you would join us for the journey. Also, let me know down in the comments, what are some clones of niche fragrances that you've been enjoying that work really well this summer? So here we go, let's dive into some that are bright and vibrant, or at least fresh, refreshing. Here we go. We will start with one that is a clone of a Mancera fragrance that is just a beautiful, bright, energetic, very happy citrus fragrance with a little touch of woods. This is a clone of Cedrat Boise, and this one is Paris Corner Emir Cedrat Essence. And so this is just this beautiful, bright, refreshing burst of uh, some sweet, tart fruits. It's like uh, grapefruit and bergamot and lime and uh, you know some real significant sweetness as well. There's also a touch of like woods and uh, even a touch of leather, uh, maybe even some vanilla. I'm not totally sure about that. Uh, but I know for sure a little bit of woods and leather. So it's like this bright, juicy fruitiness with a little bit of woodsiness on the edges. It's been described as like a wicker basket full of fruits. And I think that that, that makes sense with this fragrance. It's beautiful. Next one I want to mention. This one is a clone of uh, Roja Parfums Elysium, the Parfum Cologne. And this one is probably still my favorite out of the various clones that I have because this one is definitely the brightest uh, of all of them. I've just got a little 10 mil, but this is uh, Alexandria Fragrances Clone of Elysium. Let's see what it's actually called here. Oh, it's called Zion. I should have remembered that. Alexandria Zion. The reason this is my favorite, just pulling it out of the sleeve, I just get hit in the face with the most beautiful, to me, Elysium has one of the best openings in fragrance. It is this sweet, bright um, uh, lime and bergamot combo with some black currant and vetiver. And then once you get into the base, you do have some leather and vanilla. Uh, you know, it's not totally different from Cedrat Boise that I just mentioned, but there's some significant differences, especially the vetiver. The thing that I absolutely love about Alexandria's Zion is this one, the vetiver is rolled back just a touch and the sweet fruitiness is increased. The bright fruitiness is increased and man, it's just awesome. Some are more vetiver heavy, some are more fruity heavy. This one's more fruity. It's about a six or seven hour fragrance, which is actually really good for an Elysium clone. A lot of them have poor performance. So check it out, Alexandria Zion. I wish Alexandria fragrances weren't so freaking expensive. That's the only thing. All right, next up, we're gonna go with one that says bright right on the label. This is a clone of Tom Ford Bitter Peach. This is Maison Alhambra Bright Peach. Uh, and it's very similar to Bitter Peach, except the bright peachiness is really increased. Uh, it's basically just a bright peach fragrance with a touch of booze and a touch of, I think I could describe as powderiness. Uh, and it's, uh, you know, this is definitely unisex. Uh, my wife actually says she thinks it smells like a man, you know, like she, she doesn't want to wear it because she thinks it's too masculine. I think it's, you know, unisex, maybe leaning a touch feminine. So it's definitely in the eye of the beholder, but I wear this one. I like it. It's definitely not only a summer fragrance. It's got enough sweetness and enough heaviness that it could definitely work all year round as well. Bright peach. We'll go with another one in the same line from Maison Alhambra. This is another Tom Ford clone, and it is actually a clone of Neroli Portofino. This is Porto Neroli. And what you're gonna get with this one, this one smells like you are sitting by the pool on a very hot summer day. 
It is very refreshing. It's bright. Uh, it smells somehow strangely aquatic, although it's not necessarily an aquatic fragrance, but it smells like the pool. And it's got some of that kind of um, sunscreen or suntan lotion kind of vibe. Uh, it's a, a floral fragrance. Obviously, you've got to focus on neroli. You've got some jasmine. You've got some citrus. Uh, it's a very bright, very refreshing fragrance. Uh, I would say right down the middle unisex. Since it's floral, it would work for the ladies, but it's not, uh, it, not a feminine kind of floral fragrance. So Porto Neroli, very refreshing. It will remind you of being at the pool on a summer day. Got to dig it. And uh, those fragrances right now, you can still get them for about 30 bucks. I've been picking them up on Amazon for right around that $30 price point. I'll try to put some links in the description. Next up, we're going to go with one that's been called for years a clone of Creed Virgin Island Water, but it's not a clone. As a matter of fact, there's some significant differences, but it's in the same family, the same type of fragrance. This is a $20 pickup, uh, Tommy, Bahama, Tommy Bahama's uh, Set Sail St. Bart's. And so this is basically a tropical boozy fragrance uh, with a good dose of musk. So you've got, I believe it's a tequila note. Uh, you've got like some lime and a touch of coconut. Uh, so it's sort of a, a very um, beachy, you know, tropical vacation kind of a fragrance. The difference with uh, the Creed is there is more of a pineapple, dis very discernible pineapple, um, you know, and maybe a touch more coconut. It's just a different kind of fragrance, but it's in a similar family, so I see where the comparison comes from. Okay, next up, we're going to go with one that when I first sprayed on Porto Neroli, I thought, oh no, is this just going to be another version of this fragrance? But side by side, they're actually very different, uh, but there's some similarities. This is Dossier Aquatic Vanilla, and it is a clone of Juliet Has a Gun, Vanilla Vibes, which I used to own, but I sold it because the performance sucked. This one has awesome performance. This is easily an eight-hour fragrance on me, and it's basically that sort of uh, beachy pool kind of vibe with a touch of that sunscreen kind of feel, but it's a vanilla dominant fragrance with a good dose of coconut. So picture Porto Neroli with some strong vanilla and some coconut. It's not an overly sweet vanilla. Uh, at all, actually. This is a compliment beast. I wore this uh, on a trip recently, and I got compliments from more than one person the two days that I wore it. So this thing, uh, it's it's got some push. It's a very airy fragrance. Will get you compliments, and it is like, you know, at the beach with vanilla. I don't know how they do a vanilla fragrance. So dominant vanilla, but not cloying, not even really that sweet. I love it. All right, next we'll go with one that's a clone of another Creed fragrance. This one is a clone of Millicene Imperial. It's got, this one's gotten a lot of hype for very good reason. This is our Moffs Club de Nui Milestone. And so this one is just a beautiful, bright, uh, melon, sort of watery, uh, juicy fruit kind of fragrance. You've got... Uh, sort of a watermelon, honeydew melon vibe with some other fruits. You've also got a sugar note uh, that is pretty discernible. There's also sort of a, um, a saltiness to this fragrance. I think they actually call it sea notes or salty sea notes or something like that. Um, the ambroxan in this fragrance will totally remind you of the ambergris in Creed. Very, uh, you know, beautiful, slightly sweet, very bright summer fragrance. Great pickup. Milestone by Armoff, Club de Nuit Milestone. Okay, next up, we'll go with, might as well go with another Club de Nuit fragrance. This one I would put more in the realm of fresh, refreshing rather than necessarily bright. Uh, this one is a clone of another Creed fragrance, Silver Mountain Water. This is Club de Nuit Siage. And man, this is such an interesting, complex fragrance. I, I slept on this one for a long time because I hadn't smelled Silver Mountain Water, uh, and I thought that it just sounded boring, but this is anything but boring. You've got this uh, very, uh, very distinct sort of inky quality, 
in the fragrance, but you've also got some florals and you've got something that will remind you a little, or reminds me a little bit of incense, something like that. And this is a fragrance that uh, is absolutely, uh, my bottle is a great performer. I've, I did a video on this. I'm not going to go into it, but I'm talking like 12 hours plus performance sprayed on your clothes. It'll be there for days. Uh, it is refreshing in the sense that uh, it does smell like you're in the mountains, like the air, like you're next to a stream. There's just something so refreshing about this one, but it's got enough strength that it also will work all year long, so not only in the summer. All right, I've got a lineup of Creed's here, uh, of Creed clones. This one is a clone of uh, Creed's Aventus, you know, it's been cloned a thousand times, but this is still the one I recommend the most. I've got some other clones that I recommend sometimes, but this one, the price is ridiculous. You can get it on Amazon for the low 20s, and it is a beautiful clone of a fruity batch of Aventus. I'm talking about Alharmane Laventure. There is an intense version now that I haven't tried that's only a few dollars more. I've heard that it's just as good but stronger, but this is just a beautiful kind of uh, fruitier version of Aventus. It does still have some of that kind of birch, uh, you know, feel that will lend itself to a little bit of a smoky vibe, but it is a great Aventus clone. It's an eight-hour performer on me, very inexpensive, great pickup by Alharmane. All right, another Creed clone. And this one, uh, I never really thought of this as a summer fragrance until the last few weeks. I've been loving this in the high heat. This is a clone of Green Iris Tweed. This is, of course, Armoff's Train a Wee. It's gotten a lot of hype. It's like a $20 fragrance, 2022, something like that, even on Amazon. I'll try to put links uh, for those I can find in Amazon, um, <clears throat> the ones that are good prices on Amazon. Uh, but this, something about the greenness, I always got the soapiness more in the spring, but something about the heat brings out this sort of juicy, fresh, refreshing green feel, sort of this soft, uh, you know, uh, damp, uh, sweet greenness that I get, as well as a very sort of clean, soapy opening. I've been loving this in the heat. It is a fantastic clone of Green Irish, Green Irish Tweed. All right, next up, this one's not a clone of a Creed fragrance. Uh, this one is a, a clone of uh, BR540, but the x -ray. Now, some would say, how is that a summer fragrance? Well, I'll tell you this. Uh, I was on a cruise about a month ago, and my wife and I smelled this everywhere. Everyone on the ship, it seemed like, was wearing either BR540 or the x -ray. There are some differences. There's a version of this one I'll tell you about that clones the original BR540. Take your pick. I love this all year round. It's such a magical fragrance. I think I'm going to wear it tonight. Uh, but this is All Haramain Amber Oud, and this one is the Ruby Edition. Uh, they also have one that is a clone of, this one's the x -ray. It's got the Almond Accord. Um, I'm blanking on the uh, other Amber Oud version that is a clone of the original. Both of them are great. They're powerful performers, you know, 10 plus hour fragrance, super accurate, super high quality, just a banger clone. And I love BR540, you know, no matter what the situation, wear it casual, dress it up, wear it in the heat, wear it in the winter. You know, I think it works pretty much anytime, anywhere. Ask everyone on the cruise, the 400 people that were wearing it if it works in the heat as we're going to tropical islands because they were rocking it. All right, finally, this one is a clone of Amouage Reflection Man. It is a beautiful clone, one that uh, I've been wearing this summer, really enjoying. This is Cadillage Shiaka. Some call it Shiaka Red because the red label. There's also a blue one, uh, but this one is a clone of Reflection Man. It's an excellent clone. Um, it is a um, kind of uh, ylang, ylang focused fragrance, but it's also got a powdery iris, an orris root note uh, that makes it very distinct. Uh, and then it's got some other notes as well, some florals. It's got uh, a little bit of sweetness as well. If you've never smelled Reflection Man, it'll remind you a little bit of Lamal, of JPG Lamal, but it's definitely 
a more updated version. It's not quite as aromatic as Lamal, not quite as sweet as Lamal, but it's a similar vibe. But this one is another all year round fragrance that is definitely refreshing uh, and definitely works in the summer for me. So that's been 12. I hope I said 12 at the beginning rather than 10. Uh, so 12 fragrances that are bright or fresh or refreshing. And all of these are clones of niche fragrances and pretty much all of them are excellent prices. You know, they're all, you can get them, most of them $30 or less with the exception of a couple that are around 40, but man, great pickups, great prices, niche clones that are going to be a great pick for the summer. Let me know down in the comments what you would add. And again, please go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't and enable notifications and you'll be getting a video every couple days from me. I have been Justin. This has been Siaj Sense. I'll see you on the next video.